If you want to learn Russian and you know nothing about Russian, maybe like two or three words like привет, пока, спасибо, then follow these two simple rules. Rule number one, figure out how much time you can spend learning Russian on a daily basis. Maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's 10, maybe it's 20, maybe it's an hour, maybe it's six hours. I don't know. It's up to your personal schedule, but you have to spend some specific sort of time on a daily basis or more. If you said, for example, I'm going to spend 20 minutes a day for, for a year. So it's a you know, long time. If you spend 30 or 40 on a given day, that's fine, of course. You're setting a minimum amount of time that you're going to spend with Russian on a daily basis. Why is that important? Because you are telling your brain, hey brain, we have this another way of expressing our th ourselves through, through, through Russian now. We don't have to speak English or Spanish or some other language. Now we can express ourselves through Russian. Emotions, needs, desires, thoughts, everything else. But if you only tell your brain that they can communicate now in Russian once a week, then everything that you will learn that day is going to be forgotten throughout the week. So if you do it on a daily basis, your brain is going to think that, okay, this is a new way of us communicating and it's going to retain that information from day one to day two to day three to day four. It's not going to forget it. But if you only do it once a week, then yes, you cannot expect your brain to remember everything from that given day. So do it on a daily basis. Then you're going to start thinking in Russian, dreaming in Russian, and all the things that you have learned are going to emerge automatically because your brain is now wired to think and dream and do other things in Russian. So it's important to do it on a daily basis, regardless of how long, five minutes, 10 minutes, do it every single day. Okay, that's rule number one. Rule number two is once you figured out how much time you can spend on a daily basis with Russian, spend only 20% of that time on grammar and 80% on anything else, vocabulary, speaking, practicing, watching movies, cartoons, listening to songs, anything else. Grammar is important, of course, because it's a backbone of any language. But what schools have failed to do, they are only teaching us grammar. They don't let us practice, like speak in the language. They don't let us listen to like basic things in the language, like speeches, songs. They don't let us watch movies, cartoons, anything else besides grammar. The simple reason for it is that grammar is so much easier to teach. Not to learn, but to teach. Teachers set up for an easier way of teaching. They don't go out and try to make their students fluent. They make their job easier for themselves. Okay, and that's a, that's a very bad sin because you're not really focused on your learners, on your students. So, learn grammar for only 20% of your time, 80% of, of your time spent on anything else. Learn vocabulary, learn Russian vocabulary, um, watch Russian movies or cartoons, listen to Russian songs, read Russian books like Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, all those classics, watch Russian interviews, anything, do anything. Actually, I forgot, practice speaking, call your Russian friend or find a person on the internet Text them in Russian. Practice what you have learned. Okay? Because grammar, just knowing the rules will not get you to fluency. Knowing how to apply those rules and automating that process is going to get you to fluency. If you learn past tense and you've only practiced once in a week, you're going to forget all that you have learned. If you have practiced 100 times through texting, through watching videos and, sorry, movies and, and, and hearing those phrases in those movies, then yes, then that information is going to stick to your memory. Okay? So, figure out how much time you want to spend on, on a daily basis and then 20% of that time to grammar, 80% of that time to anything else. Now, how do you go about where can I find those grammar rules? Like, how, how can I find that grammar content to consume? 
I have and Fluentian Russian has two solutions for you. First one is Practice Friday, season two. It's only talking about grammar from the very start to like basically covering the basics of Russian grammar. The very basics. Start with episode one all the way to episode 12. It's going to teach you the most important grammar topics. After that, you can go ahead and explore more. Or there is a course, Russian 101, that it's out on BeFluent class. Link is in the description. It's, it's free until 2018 because that's a membership website where only those that are really committed to learning Russian join and we interact with them on a, on a more intense level, okay? Those two things, Practice Friday Season 2 and Russian 101 are going to take you to a good basic level of Russian in grammar. If you don't like my stuff, you can always check out other people's stuff. Just search online, search other YouTubers, search just articles on the internet. You're going to find a whole lot of information. That's when it comes to grammar part. When it comes to practice part, check out Tandem app for language exchange. Find a person to talk to. Text them in Russian. They're going to reply to you with corrections in Russian. You can exchange, level exchange, okay? Then... I recommend finding a Russian blogger that is talking a lot in, in their videos and just listen to, what, to, to how they talk. You may not understand anything for the first two months or three months. Once you watch like a hundred videos, then you're going to understand way more, half or more, depending on how, how uh, you know, analytical you are and how much you've learned when you were watching those, uh, those videos. What you can also do, you can listen to Russian songs. Just tap in Russian pop songs or Russian pop singers, whatever it is. Find those and listen to them. Uh, what you can also do is you can check out vk.com for Tandem, for VK. I'm going to have links in the description as well. It's a Russian social network. Every single Russian, well, almost, is on that network. Not everybody is on Facebook. And there's a lot of groups like theme groups uh, maybe like memes in russian basically what we russians consume ourselves you can consume that too and of course talk to russians there so i've given you a whole lot of information that you can take home and work with for you to become fluent and at, if, at, if at any point of time you are looking for something that you cannot find maybe you cannot find the translations for something you always have my email you always have my instagram you always have my facebook Reach out to me. I want to help you. I'm serious. I'm not going to ignore you. I'm going to help you in finding whatever you need. And those that I have helped, that are in the comments. Guys, please let people know that I actually do help and I do send you stuff that you need. Because I want you to learn Russian and erase those stereotypes, stereotypes about Russians for you to actually, you know, go in the culture and learn it firsthand. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope now you have some reference to how you can learn Russian. That's it from me. I'll see you in the comments. Пока-пока.